Hello, everybody. Welcome to Leet Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, and uh, going to do a little comparison today. So, uh, let me recognize these. We had the Funf, the Funf uh, Five. Uh, German Riesling, as it says, um, a few days ago, last week, and then yesterday's wine, the Starling Castle, <clears throat> we had that uh, yesterday. So what I thought was, since it's hot in San Antonio, and you know we all want to have nice refreshing wines uh, when it's 100 plus degrees outside, I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, kind of compare these two. Um, I really was harsh on this wine. You know, I gave it a 78. Uh, I said I wouldn't buy it again. I haven't had it since, but I thought it'd be kind of interesting to compare the two because this is a Tafel vine and this is a, a Kvalitats vine. Qua, qua, I'm sorry, Kvalitats vine. I kind of worked on the pronunciation after our yesterday's episode. Um, so this is technically a higher quality wine and got an 87. So they're kind of a little, little flip flop there on the score. Um, and I put them in the refrigerator. Well, this was in the refrigerator since yesterday, the last week's episode. But I put these both in the refrigerator, let them cool down a bit. I took them out about an hour and a half. Actually, it's been almost two hours since I've taken them out. And they're still cold. They're still cool to the touch. So they're probably a little warmer than recommended for white wines uh, for, for uh, serving. But we're going to check them out. So let's go and get right into it. I have to start my timer on the phone there, so I don't go too far over. So we'll just uh, try to keep it under ten minutes. All right, so let's check it out. So all right, so like last time, I, I'm getting kind of that. That apple-y aroma, but it, it's definitely more muted, and, and that part of it is because the wine is, is colder than, you know, 70 degrees or 72 degrees, whatever it is in the house. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm smelling the alcohol, which really isn't that much alcohol in here. You know, my, my nose is kind of burning. Uh, not, not like it's burning on fire, but... Uh, I forgot what the alcohol was on this. It wasn't much. They're hiding it, aren't they? Oh, 9%. So, you know, it's, it's not, you know, it's, it's pretty low in alcohol, so it's not like it's going to kill me. But, you know, I kind, I kind of get that, I don't know, caramel quality to it. Yeah, even cooler, I'm getting that, that massive tartness, and it's just like, it's all over, it's all over my mouth, and, you know, maybe if it was like 40 degrees cold or 50 degrees cold, it might be more refreshing that that tartness wouldn't overpower the palate, but, um, yeah, so let's, let's quickly... Check this out, and let's just kind of see if I'm getting the same thing as I got yesterday. So, you know, really want to rinse that other one out. It's kind of a little milestone. I've done two, you know, doing two wines in one episode. Ooh. Okay, so I got something completely different now than I did yesterday. Matter of fact, I'm getting like getting like rubber or, 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 you know, it's like walking to the Firestone, walking to a Goodyear and all that tire smell. Now, I, I don't think it's from this. Matter of fact, I don't really smell anything from, from this. I mean, you had the vacuum vents in there and it's not like, you know, it was open and left open for a long time to breathe and then I vacuum, then I put the vacuum in. I put the vacuum in on as soon as I was done with the recording it, but... 
Yeah, like it's this overpowering smell of, of rubber, of tire, like new tire. And, and a little bit of floral. But, it, you know, it's, it's like... It's like walking into Firestone and uh, or Goodyear or any other tire shop, and uh, you smell all the rubber, and then and then somebody like put a little thing of just random flowers, kind of nearby, and you kind of caught a whiff of that. All right, so let's taste it. So I'm getting that residual sugar again. I mean, this had a little bit more sugar than, than this one. But, yeah, I'm, I'm really getting that, that tire, that rubbery thing. And, and, you know, you really shouldn't be getting that. So let's, you know, let's. Try it again. Okay, so I don't get, on the flavor profile, I don't get as much of that tire taste. Um, either I'm just getting used to it, um, I'm getting a lot more acid than I felt I got yesterday, um, and it's, it's it's a nicer balance of acid and sugar, and that's what you're looking for. You want some balance. This is like all acid, and it's okay if the acid is really focused, but this acid still is just like disjointed. It's all over the place. It's it's like you know a two year old running around. Um, not that I really know anything about two year olds because I don't, but you know I've seen a lot of them, but. Uh, this one has a better, uh, uh, the Starling definitely has a better uh, uh, balance between tart and sweet. Um, maybe a little bit of that sour apple um, flavor profile. So I don't like it as much as yesterday, but I still think... Um, I still think that the score I gave it is still a valid score, 87. So, you know, another example how temperature can affect the taste of wine. Uh, we, we drink white wines as a society very cold. We, they usually are put left in a, in a beer cooler at the restaurant. You put them in your refrigerator. These things are held to 40 degrees and under. You take them out, you pop it open, boom. It's like, oh, it's you know, refreshing because it's cold and you don't really taste anything. I left these out for a couple hours, um, probably a little longer than I should have, but I was working on our, our uh, lesson for today, which I'm going to record right after this. But, um, you know, it, it did mute the flavors a bit, but it's still, even though this is chilled, it didn't, it didn't really get rid of those acids. So uh, that's, uh, that's today's episode. Thanks for stopping in. I hope, uh, hope this was fun for you. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow yet, but... Uh, we've got these two wines, and uh, might be bringing these to the pity party. Just uh, as I said, I would uh, bring wines that we didn't finish, or wines that I didn't finish. So uh, I'm going to bring both of them. I'll bring the Starling because it's a little bit better. I don't want to. Well, yeah, who knows? I'll bring it. I'll ask people what they think about it. Maybe we'll. I don't know. They have to. Maybe they won't want to be on camera, but you know, maybe we'll. Uh, I'll bring the. I'll bring the flip cam anyway in case somebody wants to give their opinion of it. We'll try to like you know break it down so a few few seconds for everybody. Maybe that'll be uh, Monday's episode. So uh, anyway, thanks for stopping in and uh, we'll see everybody again next time. And don't forget Sami A School.